Hello friends, welcome to my video on the LG Google Nexus 4. In this video I will be explaining the uh, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean features uh, in this phone. And the first feature I would like to mention is the uh, Dial Pad Autocomplete feature. Which you go to the data and uh, if you type uh, some digits like this, 1, 2, 3 and the contact comes up right here. Here you can see Goku and actually three of them can be um, will come when you just dial the numbers here that's a good neat feature and the autocomplete version uh, was not there in the stock android uh, before until now but it was there in the uh, custom versions of android from samsung htc lg and many other manufacturers and also one important thing is you have to enable this feature before so what you have to do is go to the settings in the dialer and here, I mean, now I'm in um, airplane mode, so these options will not be shown. But if I undo it, uh, you'll be here. You can see the dial pad autocomplete. You have to check it so that this feature gets enabled. So that's that. That is the new um, dial dialer. And the next thing I would like to explain about is the camera itself. So you got an improved camera. The interface has changed, as you can see here. Uh, the both these things are much closer to the shutter button and also you have an arc like interface to change the settings like HDR uh, exposure settings uh, flash and front camera and also another addition is the uh, incoming of the countdown timer as you can see here the countdown timer was not previously there and now it's there so that's a good thing and also Google claims that the um, uh, 360 degree photosphere feature has been vastly improved and I took a photo with this and it's spot on. The stitching is much more efficient, uh, the uh, exposure was was really good and also the grey portions uh, that we usually saw in the photosphere was, uh, I would say it's totally um, um, uh, executed but uh, it's still there but it's manageable right now so that was the camera department so more and more algorithms going on there making the camera great and the third thing I would like to mention is the Bluetooth low energy uh, thing so many people are confused with this uh, term low energy people think that the Bluetooth um, consumes much less energy when the Bluetooth is switched on but that's not the case now the Nexus 4 and many other low energy enabled devices um, phones can be uh, synced with uh, devices like pedometers, heart rate monitors and many smart watches where Bluetooth is enabled the case is that those are Bluetooth low energy devices and now you can sync a phone with that, uh, you can connect your phone with that uh, device. So that's a great thing. Um, the fourth thing I would like to mention is the keypad itself. I mean there's a lot uh, of use of uh, advanced algorithms for tap tacking recognitions. So what it actually does is make it easier with respect to the previous versions while chatting. And also there's a thing called emoji. I don't really know what that means but what it actually brings out is um, as you can see here long press on the uh, space bar and you got these options. So we take emoji and you got this various funny characters in here you can use. So that's another thing, but for enabling this also, you have to go to the settings, you have to go to the language and input, and you have to check this I W N N I M E, and below it's written emoji. So you have to check that to enable that feature. So that's another thing. The uh, fifth thing I would like to mention is the OpenGL ES 3.0. So what it actually is, in a simple words, it's more like a driver update for your GPU um, in your PC. So it's able to render high quality graphics and uh, it, it actually improves the uh, overall rendering experience and also improves the quality of graphics in a game or in an application. 
so that's basically it I'm not really a big really geek to explain the features but so basically that's it I hope you understand and the next thing I would like to say is the battery I mean we all already heard the uh, project Roadrunner but Google didn't use that particular name in their uh, introduction of the 4.3 program uh, but what it does is it improves the battery but I had some issues when I got updated to the 4.3 from 4.2 the battery was not that great but I did find a solution which you will be able to find in my next video which is totally uh, dedicated to the camera I mean and the uh, battery department of this LG Google Nexus 4 with 4.3 and there is a solution so make sure you uh, look into that and the next uh, final thing I would like to talk about the Android 4.3 is the overall performance of the device. Uh, we all know that Jellybean came with the Project Butter, but with 4.3, uh, I would like to say that Project Butter is reloaded and vastly improved. It's so smooth, so amazing. I mean, I have used uh, your Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, many other high-end devices like Note 2, not the HTC one, but Galaxy S4, yes. But and as you can see, my uh, check my videos for the videos comparing the Nexus 4 and the S4 and all. And I'll have to say that with 4.3, this is amazingly brilliant. I mean, if there was any lag for your Nexus 4, it's gone now, totally eliminated. So. The performance is vastly improved, that's one another thing and there are other things like uh, improved things uh, like in um, the editing department, the interface has changed. As you can see here, here we have some cross lines, before it was all black and also if you want to change the wallpaper the changing of wallpaper is done really really fast I'll give you an example here you can see various wallpapers which one I would select I would select this one and set as set picture as wallpaper here you can see the new interface and save it's done it used to take much longer before but now it's not taking that much longer so that's a good thing so overall the performance is really really great uh, for this device so basically what 4.3 does is improve the performance and many other things especially the camera department so that was my review of the LG Google Nexus 4 with the Android 4.3 latest Jellybean version from Google hope you like the video if you have any comments please comment below like the video if you like and please help me by subscribing to my channel. It will be really great and encouraging for me. And all kinds of criticisms are welcomed. So please be frank by yourself and give me suggestions so that I can improve my video. So that's it my friends. Bye bye. Thanks. See you in the next video.